like 80 degrees outside and I'm wearing a scarf because I want it to be fall that bad. Okay. time of year. It's officially fall. Summer's in the past. I know that summer is like people's favorite time of year, but fall and the holidays and getting into Christmas, I love it. Absolutely love it. I love the smell. I love the weather. I love the energy. It's my favorite time of year. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to transform parts of your home or your whole home into the fall season and make it warm and cozy and invite that amazing feeling of the holidays and the fall season into your home. So we're going to be transforming my living room as it is right now into a fall oasis, a fall abode. That means home, right? Abode, 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 a fall abode. I'm gonna show you some really easy, really simple, inexpensive tips in order to upgrade your home into the perfect fall vibe for this time of year. So let's get started. dry out really well because I hate when flowers die so we definitely don't want anything too fresh um, so we want some color but that's going to be um, really pretty as they get darker and dry out a little bit so we're going to be doing the mantle and then some flowers on the coffee table too this is going to match my decor really well but I think they'll dry out well too how pretty is that together so pretty so pretty. Okay, let's get these. So we're at Target. Looking for some cute stuff for the coffee table. How cute. So pretty. Those are so pretty. Such a pretty throw. Some candles, some coasters. First, we're gonna start by decorating the mantle. And instead of spending a small fortune on greenery at the flower mart, I just snagged a couple of branches from a tree in my backyard, and that's gonna act as the base of our arrangement on the mantle. The key to placing flowers on your mantle is to work your way from the outside to the inside. So placing the largest flowers and the largest leaves on the outside of the mantle and the smallest on the inside. So it has really great balance. Next, I'm gonna put the candles onto the mantle so that I know exactly where they're gonna sit so I don't place anything in where it's supposed to go. And then pick your largest accent flower and start to place them into the greenery. A trick when picking your accent flower is to pick a darker shade of your existing home decor so that you don't have to get rid of any of your home decor in your house like your rug or your pillows and you can just build on top. Next I picked up a really textured greenery from the flower mart as well while I was there just to give a little bit of texture to the arrangement and it will look different than the greenery that I picked from the tree um, outside so I'm just gonna go around the entire mantle and stick it in just to give it a little bit of texture. As you're building on all of the layers in the mantle arrangement, just kind of step back from it every so often and see where there's missing pieces so that you can fill those in with additional greenery so that it really looks full and abundant. Next, I'm going to put in some pumpkins because I don't want to place anything in those places because pumpkins are a key to this arrangement. 
And to finish off our arrangement, we're gonna add in our final pop of color and our final accent flower all along the mantle to really make it pop and make it vibrant and really bring out that fall vibe, but make it cheery and bright. Next, using the same flowers that I used in the mantle arrangement, I'm gonna be doing a centerpiece arrangement for the coffee table. So using the textured greenery first, I'm, it's going to act as my base, and just kind of shoving them in so that we can reshape it later. And then using the larger of the accent flowers and going around the entire arrangement, snipping off the bottoms so that you make a fresh cut, and I did put a little bit of water in this to make them last a little longer. And finally, adding in our our pop of color and our final accent piece and trimming up any of the excess that makes it look a little too full. This is a very abundant arrangement which I'm used to little simplistic arrangements but I think it'll be really pretty for fall. Next is decorating our coffee table and you want to start off with a wood piece or a tray to make a little collection of goodies. Then you want to put your arrangement right on top of that and then no fall coffee table is complete without some great smelling candles and some pumpkins for accent. You want some really pretty coffee table books to put on the side and of course some coasters for your guests. Next, you want to swap out any light colored pillows for a little shade darker to really make it warm and cozy. And plaid is a perfect pattern for fall. So putting a plaid throw in the same colors that you have in your decor and your new fall arrangement will be perfect. Finally, I have a painting in my living room that just looks a little too spring summer for me. So I really wanted to DIY a piece of wall art to replace it. So I picked up some inexpensive yarn from the store and I'm going to make a really cute, hopefully really sophisticated wall hang to replace it. So what you're gonna need for this is a stick or a pole, just like you would a normal macrame wall hang, some yarn, the length of whatever you want your wall hanging to be and some small copper pieces. And if you haven't seen my other copper home decor DIY video, definitely check it out because this matches so perfectly and I just can't wait to see how it comes out. So you're going to fold your yarn in half and create a little bit of an anchor so you can pull it through the copper piping and just be careful because copper edges are a little sharp and I noticed that some of them tore just a little bit but just slide it on as carefully as possible and then open up the loop at the top and remove your anchor and then simply fold over your stick or pole and pull through. design has five groupings of yarn with these copper pieces attached to them but you can have as many as you want and as big as you want to make this depending on where it's going in your home.
After you've attached all your sections, just move down the copper pieces and make a unique kind of staggered pattern with them so that it kind of looks a little artistic and abstract and gives a lot of great detail to the yarn. After you've done this, the only thing left to do is to shape up the bottom of your wall hanging by trimming up the yarn and hang it in your room. video on Netflix is like love, love.